Hello and welcome to the third video of a series where I try different pedals and see how they complement a Boss HM2. If you haven't watched the first two videos, I highly suggest doing it. So before we start, let's quickly go through the signal chain. The guitar, which is my Black Hat Custom, goes into this KMA Audio Machines pylon, a noise gate, and from there it goes to the KMA Audio Machines Tyler Deluxe. This is, um, well, it's a parallel loop as well as a frequency splitter, but I'm only using its parallel loop function. As you can see, the low pass and the high pass are basically deactivated, as well as the clean blend. In the high pass loop, we have the Boss HM2, made in Japan, with my favorite settings. And in the low pass loop, I'll engage uh, the pedals that I want to have in parallel with the HM2. For the, uh, we start with the high pass pedals, Satanist. And from the output of the Tyler, we go into the amp, which is the PRS MT15. I've activated the lead channel. I dialed it in, as you can see here. And from there, the signal goes to this Zure load box. And from there, it goes into my interface. And in Cubase, I've engaged a Bogren IR, it's the Greasy Beard IR. So first things first, here is the pure amp signal, noise gate engaged. So now let's engage the Tyler Deluxe and uh, since the mix is totally on the high pass, we should hear a nice chainsaw sound. Okay, now we'll activate the Satanist and dial in a nice sound with the Satanist. This is already pre-dialed to my favorite settings, but uh, they haven't been adjusted to this particular amp, so I might change them. So um, this acts more like a boost pedal here. It doesn't give the sound its distinguish, uh, the, well, basically the Satanist sound. Uh, this works better uh, with a clean amp, but for now let's roll with it and add some chainsaw. Let's blend both pedals. <laughs> So I just needed a tiny touch of change of flavor and now the sound is really brutal, brutal. Now the sound is really brutal yet transparent. Okay, this is how the Satanist sounds in parallel with the Boss HM2. Let's switch over to the next pedal. And the next pedal is my uh, quite new uh, God City Instruments Brutalist Junior. I actually prefer this pedal in front of a clean amp. But let's find out how it sounds in front of the MT15 on the lead channel. Maybe we can get some cool sound of it. So mix again 
fully on the Brutalist Junior and let's dial it in. Again, not a really drastic change, more or less a bit, uh, a slight modification of the gain structure and uh, added gain, of course. So let's uh, blend in the HM2. So it's really interesting because for a uh, lesser chainsaw flavor, I've had to dial in way more HM2 than I had on the Satanist. But uh, this sound I like. It's not your typical sound uh, that you use with fast guitars, but for slow guitars, I think it's really fitting. So this is how the Brutalist Junior sounds in parallel with the Boss HM2. So next up is the Rocktron Zombie. It's uh, well actually a distortion pedal, but in the review that I did, I thought that it can get some unique sounds when played in front of a driven amp, and maybe this worked well with an HM2. So let's find out by dialing it in on its own. So yeah, that's really nasty and we have a bit of tweaking options with the treble and the stair knob. So maybe we'll use those later on, but first of all, let's blend in some HM2. So this is really interesting. I uh, well, first of all, the sound was really black metalish. I wanted harsh and uh, but harsh in a good way. Uh, I could overemphasize it by dialing in more treble. The stat didn't do much uh, actually. And when I added more bass, the typical chainsaw flavor kind of disappeared, and I had to compensate by dialing in more HM2. But all in all, surprisingly good. So. 
This is how the Rocktron Zombie sounds in parallel with the Boss Station 2. Next up is my Lone Wolf Audio Playcred, which is basically uh, red on steroids. And uh, I don't know if this works well. I only know that I really like a modded red in parallel with my left hand breath and this is actually a big part of my live tone. So let's find out how this turns out. First of all, let's dial in the red. So again, this is basically just an overdrive, adds a bit gain and change a bit of the distortion flavor or the gain structure. So let's blend in some HM2. So while the playcred on its own isn't as versatile uh, or as tone shifting as I thought, uh, with the mix control I got some nice options from just a tiny bit of chainsaw to a bit more to, uh, well, <laughs> basically nearly all chainsaw and um, this worked really well. You could get different flavors that work with all kinds of riffs, slow ones, fast ones and well yeah. I really like this. And this is how a plague red and I suppose every red style pedal sounds in parallel with the HM2. And last but not least we have the Boss Overdrive Distortion OS2 and this is a really nice overdrive sound a pedal that I really like to use to get more gain and more tightness out of the amp and let's see how it sounds. So, sounds awesome, uh, because those are already my favorite settings. Uh, mostly overdrive, just a bit mixed in of the distortion, because too much distortion sounds rather funny and the tone a bit more than noon and gain around nine o'clock. So let's blend in some HM2 sound. <laughs>
this makes fun because this is basically your typical modern ish sound which is a boosted amp and then you blend in just a bit of chains of flavor to make it sound uh, kind of unique and filthy and rotten so yeah this is how the boss overdrive distortion and well i suppose most overdrives sound in parallel with the boss hm2 so i think here i realized what the uh, greatest weakness is uh, with my comparison and uh, b uh, due to the fact that i use just one amp and uh, both pedals have to run through the same amp settings uh, I only get good results if the pedals that I use handle the amp well. For instance, the uh, Satanist is an awesome pedal. However, it's not. I don't like it this much in front of a driven amp. I highly prefer it when it runs into a clean amp. On the other hand, I highly prefer my HM2 running in front of a driven amp. And therefore, I had to make some kind of compromise. Uh, because I haven't touched the amp settings, the Satanist sounded weaker than it had to. So please keep that in mind. With this particular setup, I actually thought that the Rockron Zombie sounded awesome because it sounded drastically different and really disgusting on its own. But in combination with the HM2, it was just an enormously well sound. And I, well, I can actually see myself use the zombie in some mixing jobs or maybe for some future uh, own music whenever I want to toy around with different pedals and toy around with the sound. The Plague Red, one of my favorites to combine with an HM2 or the Red sound, uh, didn't do this good of a job for the same reasons as uh, why the Satanist didn't do a good job. And the Brutalist Junior being such a drastically different uh, pedal, well, if you like it, was awesome. I think it was cool, but I don't think it's for my specific taste in music. Uh, not, I'm not saying it's a bad pedal, it's just not my taste. Again, in this particular setup. So, have you ever tried a pedal in parallel with the HM2? Let me know down in the comment section. And do you want to see other pedals that I try in parallel with the HM2? And with that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Instagram account. May the force be with you and have a nice day.